OpenAI is on a roll. They recently announced an updated version of their text-to-image model called Dolly 3. If you recall, Dolly 2 was a big sensation. It's a model that allows you to input text and get a really interesting image generated. What's different about this is that now Dolly 3 is 10 times better in terms of creating really cool and interesting images and illustrations and here's the big takeaway is that it's integrated into the chat GPT experience so previously with Dolly 2 it was it was an input and output type of thing that can be a little bit stale the, the chat functionality allows you to engage with chat GPT and iterate on the images and it's a lot more forgiving on the user I've used Midjourney and some of the other text to image tools but the fact that you have that chat functionality and go back and forth and it's so forgiving giving is just a game changer some examples this functionality here where you're able to input text and have it create memes and something that's comical this is new for text to image large language models this is a big deal these visuals are absolutely amazing these are photo realistic images and again it's integrated into chat gpt here is a comparison of chat of dolly 2 versus dolly 3 so this is dolly 2 this is dolly 3 a big improvement there and here's a nice video of a parent interacting with ChatGPT with Dolly 3 to create something that's kind of cool for their kid. Check out that video. I wanted to walk you through my own experience. So this past weekend, we got a outfit for our dog for Halloween. So little Foxy Bachi here. And my process here was to go into ChatGPT and go into ChatGPT Vision, which has also been a really big deal from OpenAI. And I'm going to have some more videos on ChatGPT Vision. So many great use cases there. But here is our dog, Bachi, and she's got a new Halloween outfit here. I go into ChatGPT Vision and I ask it to describe this image in detail. And it produces this description. Then I start a new chat that has Dolly 3 enabled and I ask it to do different things based on this particular description. So here I'm saying make a logo from the description below and there's, there's a prompt there that you can follow as well. And it makes some really cool visuals. This would have taken me a long time to do in Midjourney. Midjourney is very finicky, it has a steep learning curve and the interface is very bad at least it's 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 on it's on discord it's like it's not a very good user experience this is far superior in terms of the user experience and the output is just so forgiving and in terms of like the prompt and getting what you want this is amazing so here are some examples here this is some logos here that i asked it to, that i asked it to generate that's pretty cool then i asked it to put this logo on a mug so that's uh that's uh, really neat put it on a shirt and this is with minimal prompting, put it on an iPad cover, put it on a laptop cover. What else? Stickers and backpacks. And here's a coloring page that I put together. Oh my gosh, my boy's going to love this. So this is amazing. This, this is all very minimal prompting. So I just said, hey, now make a coloring page off of Bachi the Foxy Dog. And this is great. So very, very cool. I think in general, definitely a 10x, if not 15x improvement over what was already out there. Why well, I think this is important is because OpenAI is the leader in the Gen AI space. They're setting the pace. So what you see with OpenAI today is what you're going to see more widely available across other applications in three to six months. For example, Dolly 2 came out and then all of a sudden Adobe and Canva and Midjourney all have similar functionalities. Now, this type of integration with text to image and chat, you're going to find in other places as well. So really neat. You should go check this out. You do have to have ChatGPT Plus to do this, and you do have to have early access to Dolly 3 and Vision, which is not the case for everyone. But nevertheless, if you can, I, I highly recommend you go out and you play with this yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.